Now we are switching over to important question. How to prepare for preliminary examination? So as we discussed in previous session that we have to focus first on prelim examination and that also first on paper 2. Then we have to switch over to paper 1. Now I am here considering paper 1 and how to study paper 1. Uh, say it's enjoyable study, pleasant study, you can consider this way. Uh, let me clarify. Suppose you are science graduate. Then first try to finish out science subjects. And then uh, when you get bored of studying out science, then we can switch over to subjects of art side or vice versa. Suppose you are arts graduate, then first finish out topics of arts. And meanwhile, uh, if you get bored, then switch over to science topic for a while. The reason is that whatever you have first, that you should get uh, almost all knowledge of that subject. We require here nearly HSC level. That is 10 plus 2 level knowledge of each and every subject, uh, whatever the given. Now, uh, how to study out science subject? So, we are starting out with physics, chemistry and uh, biology. Now, these three subjects are some sort of interlinked subject. If you clearly observe, uh, physics is required in biology. Physics is required in chemistry also. But independently, I can study out physics. So my recommendation is that first focus on physics, especially fundamental units, fundamental entities like that topics are there. So first try to finish out physics topics first. Obviously, uh, what is difference here between uh, history like subject and physics like subject that uh, you need somebody to explain the concept as far as possible. There are a few brilliant students, they can read out physics and understand. But if you are not that brilliant, suppose you are considering that we are not that brilliant, then obviously you require somebody to explain concepts in physics. Now, fortunately, on YouTube, various uh, lectures as well as documentaries are available. So my suggestion is that go through various documentaries also. When we are talking of lecture, or academic physics, the biggest problem in academic physics that is that immediately they switch over to derivation part. Now for our study purpose, derivations are not that relevant. Some derivations are important, but not all derivations and problems, problems mean sums, are not that important from our point of study. And so you have to ignore that part and switch over. Particularly fundamental physics that is uh, 8 standard, 9 standard, 10 standard that already you have finished out whether you belong to science stream or arts stream or commerce stream then also you must have passed out SSC that is 10 standard level examination and therefore you are familiar with that so first finish out basic physics concept then switch over to higher physics concepts that is in 11th and 12th standards so first clear out uh, concepts in physics, particularly atomic structure, nuclear forces, nuclear part of physics, then Newton's laws of motion, Newton's laws of uh, cooling and all that, like that we have to study out. Now I can't uh, state exact syllabus here, but this way you can first try to cover out physics. Uh, the Biggest question is that from where you are going to study this and uh, obvious answer is that first go through NCRT books and then onwards various publications, manuals are available. So here if at all I want to take name, I will take name of McGraw-Hill publication, Pearson publication, Spectrum publication, Arihant publication, like that various publications, manuals, they are available over here and then through that also you can study out but first go through NCRT books and then onwards 
these books you can study out now after finishing physics you can switch over to chemistry then biology this is the sequence and this way uh, once your these three subjects are clear then switch over to geography because various geographical concepts are uh, very clear to you if you are having knowledge of physics say for example in geography we are using concept like uh, short wave radiation and long wave radiation so what is that that is there in physics so if you are having that concepts clear uh, or pressure and temperature relationship that is also there in physics or part of physical chemistry and then after studying out that your geography concepts will get clear and then obviously i would recommend that is about environmental science so this way because environmental science is almost composition of your knowledge in physics chemistry biology and geography and therefore if you are having thorough knowledge of all these subject then environmental science is just a sort of revision so that way your science subject will get clear geography require knowledge of science particularly physics and chemistry to great extent and therefore we are clubbing out geography something like mediator between art subject and science subject so i am connecting out that with science then try to study out history say history is vast subject here whereas uh, it is divided into two part that is history and uh, indian national freedom struggle so first get thorough with history and then with national freedom struggle may be possible questions may not ask on history uh, in certain years but in certain year they are asking out question and what is the important purpose of studying out history that is the way uh, various experimentations in taxation system that is revenue system were achieved then what is the development of art and architecture how societies develop social norms are developed and the most important thing the governing system get change so all these things so that means you can study out economics political science uh, to certain extent by studying out history only then go with national freedom struggle when particularly uh, we are switching over to the end portion of history and beginning portion of national freedom struggle you will get the experimentation in political science carried out by britishers particularly over india so how acts were made so for example regulating act pits india act amendment in that act and like that so that acts you have to study out you will get idea how powers were given to the uh, at that time it was called uh, that post was called as governor general so how powers were given to the governor general and then you will realize that after that also that means after uh, indian war of independence first indian war of independence that is 1857 after that uh, viceroy instead of governor general we started calling him as viceroy so how powers were given to viceroy and then how indian democracy was developed by britishers step by step certain amendments were given certain we can say uh, reforms were given and what is the use of that reform and that you can study out there so while studying out history or while studying out national freedom struggle you are able to study out uh, parts of polity also and that's why it is important then after getting knowledge of all this uh, history national freedom struggle then you can switch over to economics and political science every time keep in mind that whenever you are going to study at that time try to make your own notes okay now i am discussing some what detail how to make your own notes uh, without concrete ideas i will not uh, discuss anything so uh, you can check out our channel that is saurkar ias study circle on youtube everything is free video lectures are available there at free of cost 
just you have to observe them. But observe them means like study. Start out lecture and start your note making. So you can hear lecture once without any problem. Just concentrate and attend the lecture. Then onwards, uh, you can use that lecture again by getting pause. Make points. Start making here your first copy of note. Say for example, I am discussing uh, something about say uh, Allahuddin Khilji. Let us take. So Allahuddin Khilji, note down. Then whatever the points I have discussed, note it down. Okay. Then uh, next ruler is there. That is Mubari Khan Khilji. So give some space. Don't immediately write down Mubari Khan Khilji. Uh, keep some space over there and take next page where mention Mubarak Khan Khilji. Okay. Now after finishing out lecture, uh, first observe through manual that what points we discussed and what points are there. See, uh, I am not able to discuss each and every point in detail. Otherwise my class will be of only history class, other subjects I can't teach. And therefore, you have to prepare your own notes. Now, this is important thing that uh, you can observe through uh, manuals and make some more points over there. In that Allahuddin Khilji topic only, that uh, uh, re revenue system, what reforms were made by Allahuddin Khilji in the revenue system, then what is his social idea, how law was enforced at his time, and all that. Then, take another book. We are calling them as reference book. Apart from manual, keep in mind, manual are just giving, or my video lectures also, they are giving you just idea about the topic. They are not giving 100% knowledge about the topic. And in order to attend that, what you have to do, that you have to take uh, some reference book, say for example, R.C. Mujundar's book. So from that, again read out, and make your note complete. Alright. So at a time you are able to listen lecture, go through manual, go through a proper reference book and you are making your notes. Say so this is important rather than borrowing ready -made, uh, ready made notes from somebody else. Because this what notes are there that you have prepared on. You are aware from where you have taken that point whether that point is valid or not and then obviously thing is that you have to uh, make cross examinations of point also say for example uh, even in history books it is not actually we are making cross examination many times we are just saying whatever given in that book but uh, really we have to cross examine the point whether points are given in same book they are matching or not matching let me clarify, uh, in uh, some book I read that uh, Shah Jahan was a very kind emperor. He was very tender towards his people and he was fond of art and architecture. And on another page, it is written, you are aware of that I hope, that he cut hands off the uh, worksmen, those who built up Taj Mahal for him. So like that contradictory statements are given in the same book. So uh, you have to examine that whether he was really kind, really tender towards his people or cutting hands of uh, so called poor people, those who are having a uh, sense of arts and he is simply cutting off their hands. So you have to examine your own nature, uh, sorry that own uh, opinion you have to develop while doing this. Say so why this is important? Because this way you are able to justify what you are reading. And for that purpose, uh, that is the important thing for your mains examination. Because in preliminary examination, you are not able to give your own opinion. Whatever the four objectives are there, we have to uh, get clear through that objective. But uh, in mains, you can write down your own opinion. Uh, that means whatever you have, go through it. And that you can able to give. So that's why this type of independent study that is really important study here. Say for example, 
combination of different subject that is also important thing when we are talking about indian literature in that we studied out that in vedic period particularly in rigved certain uh hinds are there they are clarifying that earth is uh, suspended in space earth is not having any solid ground it is suspended in space or spherical space a uh, spherical shape like that concepts are explained in vedas that we are talking in uh, we are studying out in indian literature history whereas in history we realize that galileo copernicus and that uh, kepler this scientist were able to give this type of ideas in modern days so like that this scientist no doubt they discovered but what they discovered was actually uh, discovered uh, so no not discovered here even when vasco da gama arrived in india he was helped by indian traders in africa that type of statements are made that means indian tra traders were first in africa prior to european traders and like that you can conclude your own way so that's why we are saying that while reading you should not mug up you have to make your own mind and then that developed mind will give you fantastic study so this is first part that is note making now we are talking about current affairs from previous few years prime importance is given to current affairs no special study is required for current affair only thing is that you have to read out newspaper particularly editorial pages of newspapers in detail because there is no fixed syllabus i can't say that okay this is the thing but what happened uh, say for example in january 2019 february 2019 so like that important incident in that particular month you can keep in mind and uh, prepare your own notebook where you have to mention that what happened say for example uh, i am recording this uh, video in april 2019 so in april 2019 what important incidents happened that i had to note it down say in april 2020 this uh, what notes i have made they are really useful for me in april 2020 because in i am preparing in april 2019 so like that you have to study out current affair obviously india year book and like that books are there to help you so from that also you can prepare but the most important thing uh, that reading out editorials of various uh, newspapers i'm not taking names of that various newspaper you are also aware of that but uh, that newspaper should be at least uh, recognized national level then it is important you can go through that editorials make your own opinion about that whatever the treaties are signed at national level international level you have to go through that also and prepare your own notes that is important that is for current affair so this is about academics part the next part i am going to discuss here that is examination practice again i am telling you that without proper uh, things i am not discussing the material so here i have a concept that on this uh, channel only saurkar i study circle channel we are providing you question papers test papers exam papers are available and obviously through our website also you will get that idea and mock test will be conducted time to time that channel will be there for that purpose you have to subscribe our channel and obviously you have to register your name on that website uh, website are also having two types uh, that is a paid site and free site so depending upon your requirement you can register your name on paid site or uh, free site but where you will get maximum exam practice here the we are conducting out examination we are having practice test then we are giving you answer key and not only answer key after that we are providing you that is analysis of that particular exam this is important 
and again and again you have to appear for test so your practice of test is really important say so what you are preparing that is studying out making of your notes understanding the subject that you have to consider as 50% preparation your 50% preparation is there on your test it is not that each and every point is covered in lectures but in test we can discuss few more points i am not saying 100% again but few more points we can discuss in test papers analysis and that's why this test pattern is really important so i hope this is sufficient uh, at beginning level to begin with so how to begin with this so i am summarizing uh, first and important thing that you must subscribe our channel because we are providing it free of cost and so the thing is harm from your side if you are subscribing only thing is that after subscription don't say that okay i have subscribed that means i have finish out first no it is just only thing that you are stepping one step towards your success it's just one step then try to attend lectures try to observe all these lectures right now these lectures are available in english but in future we are trying to give these lectures in hindi also uh, some lectures are available in marathi uh, first we are finishing out marathi lectures and then we are switching over to hindi lectures also so time to time you will get uh, other languages lectures also here but right now uh, english lectures are available so first go through that lectures then prepare your notes then subscribe for our test series which is free of cost on youtube channel only and then uh, try to attend that test series you will get idea that where you stand exactly so this is about the preliminary preparation